Roland Martin here. Welcome to another YouTube adventure. And today's YouTube adventure is canoeing the Everglades. Hey, look, I got this little 17 foot canoe. I got my little power pole. When I, when I go down to, to anchor in the water, I can drop my power pole down. It stops the boat. Boom. Anyway, I got this whole thing rigged up. I got to show you what it is. This is an old bicycle. Uh, it's a, it's a trailer, a bicycle trailer, and I, I mounted some uh, two by fours on it. And look at this whole thing. Look, look, look how light it is. This, this is about 200 pounds of boat now, but I got it balanced so I can just push it real easily. So anyway, I'm going to put it down in the water right here. See what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, it wants to go faster than I can go. <laughs> oh, it's really easy to do. <laughs> okay, boys. Okay, now. Doom. Come out here, undo my little bungee cord strap. Right there. Right over to the side of the boat. Doom. Hey, I'm ready to rock and roll. All I have to do now is push out, get my paddles. I'll get these out of the way. Let's go. Ready to go fishing. In this slip, I can come back. Boy, it's nice to have this power pole like this. You know, I, I can come up and I can just come up with it just a little ways. And I'll drift a little bit. Okay, make a cast or two. Right now I'm throwing a spinner bait, trying different things. Kind of slow roll it. But they say, well, what's slow roll? What's slow roll in a spin? All it is is just going slow with it <laughs> because the blade, the blade kind of rolls around and that's the slow roll. <laughs> anyway. I got one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, he's, in the, he's in the brush. He's in the in the stuff. Okay. Pull them out. That's why you need every line. He's a big one. I think he's big. I don't see him anymore. Big one. <laughs> That's why you need heavy line, folks. That wasn't a real big fish, but he got down that hydrilla, <laughs> and you couldn't get him out. Get it all the way down. There we go. But you know, I thought if I had lost him, I would have thought for sure that he was a lot bigger fish than what he was. He was just buried up in that hydrilla to the point where I couldn't, I couldn't move him. And I'm trying a white spinnerbait. And I put a little white trailer on there. I don't know if the white trailer is a big deal or not. Basically, plenty of hydrilla in the water. And uh, come up with a power pole. That power pole is so slick. That's that's the way to fish. I mean, with a little canoe like this, when we just drifting along is fine, but. You really have control with that power pole. These are some trying times, you know, and it's, it's, it's so often people are so paranoid about, you know, staying well and still on staying healthy. I think, and I feel really comfortable about being here all by myself, out in the middle of nowhere, absolutely no chance of contamination out here. And so, you know, the great outdoors is a, is a great elixir. It's a great clean place. And it's, it's a perfect place to, to, to isolate yourself. I mean, really, if, you, if, if all you did was stay out here in the woods all the time, you'd never get sick, period. There's a the big one. Pretty good size. Pretty good size bass. That's a good size bass. That's the kind of bass we're talking about. Huh? 
Let's let drop the power pole. Drop the power pole down. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good bass. Okay. Nice bass. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Now we're talking. White swim bait with the Zaco trailer. Nice little bass. About five pounds. I don't know, I'd say it's a five pounder, five and a half pound. Beautiful bass, hit right at the boat. Actually hit just on no, almost no line. Now I put my power pole down, I'm gonna let him go. Just, by the way, I looked in his mouth. He's never been caught before. A <laughs> virgin fish. It could be a second pass right here. I don't know. We'll just try it. It's real slow and easy. Now on a canoe, I do a lot of sculling, and when you scull, you don't ever take your paddle out of the water. See how I'm doing? I'm just backing up. That's just the perfect way to back up. And just real quiet, doesn't make any noise. And that's the beautiful thing about sculling. You come back and forth. I'm just gonna ease back because that fish, I kind of went forward when he hit, and there's like a little open hole in the hydrilla here, so I'm gonna ease back away from it and power pole down again and then start, I can fish it better this way. But being quiet and sculling real quiet, don't beat around the bush and don't make, make a lot of noise, just be real quiet like this, really pays off. Quiet power catches fish. That's what we talked about Min Minn Kota trolling motors years ago. Well, I'm the trolling motor, quiet power. I'm not as powerful as I used to be. I'm too old to be powerful anymore. Okay, I'm gonna drop it down. Drop it down to the bottom. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's the coolest thing in the world. He's on the bottom. I'm gonna put my paddle down real quiet. Be real quiet. Everything, everything quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Go back over there. That's where I wanna be. So hot, I'm gonna have to take this life vest off because it's just a it's just kind of a tough deal. You notice this shirt I have on? This is the uh, the Midwest Out uh, Whitetail Adventures, and it's it's a place I deer hunt and turkey hunt in Kansas. It's just a great place to to hunt. In fact, I'm I'd like to be going out there this year, but from what I understand, I think they have it all shut down right now. I don't think I can go down there this year, but maybe this fall, when the deer hunting gets good, say November. I can do a deal with uh, some good deer hunting. There's one. There's one. Yeah. Not big. Not a big one, but hey, decent. There's a few fish around to be caught. But there's a lot of different lures to fish. In fact, I think I might try, I'll tell you what I haven't tried. It might really work. I haven't tried a frog. I got a buzz frog. Look at this, it's white. It's kind of like that swim bait. You know, I, I, look at this. I, I, okay, I caught one on this white swim bait here. Now what about throwing this white buzz frog here. Now see what I mean? They're about the same profile. The only difference is the frog just up on top. Watch the frog go. Frog just goes, Doo. look at that frog. And I can stop it. Now also when, you, when you're fishing these frogs, you want to make sure you got to watch behind it. Because sometimes the water will raise up behind it and you'll see like the, the fish coming after it and then if you do it's kind of slow it down a little bit and he'll usually suck it right down. Ooh. Ooh, he's right behind it. Oh, I got one. Big one. Big one. He hit it. He, hit it. he came in right behind it. Came right behind the frog. He got it. He's got it, son. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one on the frog. Frog time, frog time. Uh, we had to put the, pull, put the motor down. 
That's what we're talking about. I put the frog on, and the big old five or six pounder got it. Ha <laughs> son. That's what we're talking about. Woo-hoo. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. And he got that thing down so deep. It's unbelievable how deep it is. I can't get the thing there. Look at look at look at that thing. He's down. Look at look at that. Look at that frog. The frog is in, the, in his stomach. He got the thing really good. Hey, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I want to take a picture of this fish. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. That's not a bad bass. And the thing, how I saw that, the camera didn't see it because I was throwing past the camera. The fish came up and made a wake behind it. And I, I slowed it down. Just when I saw the wake coming up, I thought maybe it was a garfish. I didn't know what kind of fish it was. But then he just sucked it down just so good. See, we're just, this is a brand new lake for me, and I don't know too much about how to catch them. And, and, and so far, we hit, we're not catching a lot of fish. We've caught, you know, one big one on a, on a swim bait, and then we caught that big one on a, on a frog. So I don't know. There's just a lot of different, different ways to catch them, I guess. Let's see if I can't get this thing out of here. Okay, there's a bunch of reeds right here. I'm going to try this buzz frog right here on the corner. Oh, God, what a fish. What a bass. What a bass. What a bass. He hit that thing. What a bass. He hit that thing. He hit that buzz frog so good. Oh, son. That is so cool. Oh, was that ever a strike? Holy moly! They're on the edge of these islands. I could make that happen. I could do that again. I'm gonna come down. Don't. Now, I'll take him out. And I got part of it, parts of the deal getting that thing out. Okay, get that out. Get that out, okay. Nice little scrappy bass, but did he ever bite that thing? That was a sensational strike. Okay, let's get, it's gonna take a while to get this frog all fixed. It's all messed up. I've lost my tail. So, I gotta find another buzz tail, which I might just happen to have one. I just happen to have a buzz tail. In fact, I made some up. I, I made a mold, and it's kind of cool. I took uh, I took some silicone, and uh, and I poured the silicone. I took those little tails like that right there, and I poured uh, I, I, I poured this, the 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 plastic, and uh, I made my own little buzz tails. So let me get it on here. I'll just screw it on. Boy, when they hit like that, that makes it worthwhile. Really kind of a neat place here. Another big one, another big one. Oh my gosh, oh my heavens, oh my heavens. Another big one, another big one, another big one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, seven or eight pounds, it was giant. It was a giant, you saw it, you saw it. It was a big fish. It was, I mean, I don't know if it was eight pounds, but it was big, it was seven pounds. I know it was, it was gigantic. He was gigantic. Big old bass on a buzz frog, son. That was something. Giant. Oh man, love. Oh, son. Oh, he hit. He hit right ahead the boat. Big old giant frog. Big old buzz bait frog. Oh, what a strike! He hit at the rod tip. He was reeling it in. I was right here at the rod tip. My, Tyler was standing up, looking around, and I, we, nobody, was, nobody was ready for that one. Big old giant, big old five-pounder, just, just absolutely crazy. 
just absolutely crazy. I tell you what, folks, when you come down here to South Florida, you just don't know what you're going to get. I mean, it, you know, you, yeah, we get some little ones, but the next cast could be the biggest one of your life. And that's what, that's the beauty of fishing the Everglades and the, the Okeechobee region and South Florida in general. It's just so many places to go. And so, and plus when you have the right small little boat like I have here, there's just tons of opportunity. The people aren't, aren't getting, the, they're not fishing these small waters. I mean, this isn't particularly a small water place, but it is somewhat small water. So anyway, I showed you a couple ways of catching fish today. You know, the Cinco was, of course, always a, a challenge. It's always a, a deal. Uh, the swim jig was, hey, it paid off. Hey, I picked up the, I picked up the rattle trap and the rattle trap worked. But the best deal was this buzz frog. A couple real big fish just blasted this buzz frog. And so I just, I just want to tell you, there's just a lot of things going on. And it's just a great opportunity to come down here and catch these big old fish four, five, and six, and eight pounds, or however big they are. So folks, I really appreciate you watching the shows. I, you know, you, you've supported my, my channel so well, the subscriptions are up, and uh, I'm having a ball doing these YouTube channels, and it, it gives me an excuse to get out of the house. Now here it is right in the middle of the coronavirus uh, epidemic, and so <clears throat> I, can't, I can't go to the big places, I can't fish the tournaments. I just have to fish these small waters. I just have to fish by myself. But I'm having a ball doing it, and I hope you will too. So thanks for watching.